Now, it is the little car with bags of charm, tons of character, not a lot of space, but has such a special place in many of our hearts. What am I talking about? The Mini, of course, which this month celebrates its 60th birthday. And Russell is outside to tell us more. Russell. Well, yes. I mean, if, if you're a younger viewer, you might think that this is a Mini. This is a modern day version. And I'm glad to say they're still in production in name anyway. But it's the classic Mini like this one that many people will be celebrating uh, through this anniversary. This is a 1970 Mini Cooper S. If you like the top of the range, it's absolutely beautiful. In a moment, we'll be meeting its owner. But first, Matt Price has been looking at the celebrations which are taking place for this diamond motoring anniversary. <laughs> It's the little car celebrating a big birthday. At this event, call it a party if you will, it's like stepping back into 1959. And from the collectible to the contemporary, this mini event is far from small. Exhibitors have travelled the distance to mark this diamond anniversary. Jamie has made the trip from Kettering. I just think they're great. You, you can't help but smile when you're driving them. and. They're just brilliant, absolutely brilliant, so much fun. What do they like to drive? Great, like a go-kart, can't explain it any other way, it's just steering, it, it, it goes that way, it's just brilliant. A British design with global appeal. They've got models here from Chile and Hungary. Julie and her husband have even made the 10,000 mile trip from Sydney. You're from Australia? Correct. Why have you come so far for this? Ah, oh, passionate about minis, they're, they're our life at home. We've got a, quite a collection of them, so this is the big event to come to and so yeah, of course we're going to come over here and, and see all the cars. New this year at the Motor Show is the Morris Mini Minor. It was back in August 1959 that the Morris Mini Minor was first launched. A small, practical, economical car which came about due to a fuel shortage. Who'd have thought then we'd still be celebrating that success today? Not for a second, no. Um, it was supposed to be replaced before 10 years old and it stayed in production for 41 years. People are still restoring them and rebuilding them. I think if you sat down some of the original team today and just said, was this ever something you never thought about? And the answer would have been no. They were just really basic back then. Everything about them was basic. You could work on them. I mean, we've done many trips where we've had problems, but with a few spare bits and we've, we had a throttle cable going, that's just a, a bike brake cable. We could get that, sort of fix that, get going again. The Mini might have changed over the years. It is now bigger, faster, and of course safer. But one thing remains the same, it's popularity. With 33,000 registered in the UK this year alone. Many of the modern models are still built in the UK. The production line looks a little different, granted, as they now install hybrid and electric engines. But bosses are keen to maintain at least a little tradition. Well, I think the image is, is pretty similar. And I think, again, because of the characteristics of the car, they haven't changed over that the full 60 years. You know, that go-kart handling, the iconic styling, that hasn't changed. But for many enthusiasts, it's the classics they hold a soft spot for. A 1950s design that no doubt will continue to turn heads for years to come. Matt Price, ITV News. Well, I have to admit that I've owned several Minis. In fact, it was my first car. None as beautiful as this car, though. It belongs to Richard Morlock from Very St Edmunds. Richard, you must be absolutely thrilled. What's the appeal of this car? Um, the appeal of the car, basically, um, unlike us, um, these things actually get better with age. And also, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know this, that um, it, it takes about 17 tonnes of CO2 to manufacture a new car, whereas these are already here. Therefore, they're environmentally friendly. So classic car's the way to go. But in particular, what is the appeal of the, of the Mini? I think the Mini, it's, very, it's fun to drive and um, it's, ju it's just one of those things whereby it's, it's an iconic creature. It's, it's something that was um, uniquely done in the 70s, as this one was. Therefore, uh, we all love driving them. Now, we're used to seeing the, the big minis these days, the new minis, but what's it like driving a car this size in today's traffic? Well, the only trouble with the smaller minis um, is that the um, lorries are normally twice as large as you, and it's difficult to get out of the way of them. With this one, it's got a little bit more power, therefore it can get out of the way. So that's the only problem, and the ruts in the road as well can be a problem. But it's just fun to drive, and as long as you've got enough power, you can get out of trouble. And briefly, just tell us what you're doing for this anniversary celebration. Well, for this anniversary celebration, there's lots and lots of meets all over the, the country. Um, 
in, in different parts of the world as well. So we're all meeting and we're all enjoying these iconic cars. Uh, so look out for Richard's car and many more as well. Well, you've been showing us your minis throughout the years. Becky has been taking a look at your photographs. It might have been one of the smallest cars on the road, but a lot of you have been telling us that your minis have been a huge part of your lives. Ian Harry's got in touch. He said, we got our 1980 mini Wally when I was diagnosed with cancer a few years ago, something to do to take our minds off the illness. Mark Smith from Ipswich sent us this picture of his unusual 1965 Mini. He said that when he had it in 1978, it had been fitted with a sporty bonnet scoop. Kate Hosey's wedding day was very memorable because she was given this gorgeous purple surprise by her husband. Meanwhile, Barbara Heathfield was lucky enough to win her Mini in a competition to celebrate the car's 35th birthday. It's a father and son thing for Michael Cretton and his dad. Their blue and white cars are a shared passion. This Mini lives at Sheringham in Norfolk, but that's not where this picture was taken. Owner Harry Weaver and co-driver Liam Fern won the Italian Job Charity Rally in Italy a couple of years ago. And finally, Trevor Standring sums up the pride we've all felt in our first cars. Trevor got the keys to his Mini back in 1992. Well, thank you very much for all your pictures. We can't show them all, I'm afraid. We have been absolutely inundated, but you can see a selection of them on our website.